Welcome back guys this is chapter 14 we are going to see in this topic about archiving and compressing what is archiving archiving, archiving is just going to combine a hundred of directories or files in the single file but the compression is the size of the file will be compressed in this topic about how to compress a file the same time how to archive the file in the same command and by individual also okay let us see one by one first of all i am going to show about the tor command tor how to compress a file to compress a file we can use the tor command let me create some of the few directories here mkdir test and inside the test directory i am going to create some files touch test file dot txt uh, let me create 10 numbers of files here the name of test file 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 files are there let me come back out of that directory now i am going to compress this directory and the files all right anyway the size is 0 kb here but in the real environment in the production as you walk you can see the size of the files but here for explanation just for demonstration purpose in the tutorial section we are going to see the null file just there is no size and no content in these files all right let me try to compress these files and the folder this is the directory test so let us see how to compress the file tar hyphen c v f test dot tar then test which directory you want to be compressed here tar is the utility we are going to use for the compression and the c is create the file test dot tar and the v is verbose just show the output what are the files going to be included in this tar file and f is the file name test.tar okay the c is going to create this test.tar file and which destination want to be compressed so i want to compress the test directory i'm going to mention this test once i press enter we can see the verbose v minus v option shows the, all the files which have compressed and once i list we can see the test.tar is ready all right now let us see how to extract this okay uh, let me list I want to extract this before that let me remove the existing test directory now there is only test.tar file is there a tar file the compressed file now I am going to extract this to extract the file we can use tar hyphen x okay hyphen x will extract the file if you want to get the information verbose information we can put p and to mention the file f even f is not mentioned it's not an issue test dot tar and for center the file and the directory has been extracted and the files and everything are inside the directory you can see everything was there all right let us see how to extract if i want to extract this test directory uh, this is the location where i am the root home directory, the home directory of the root user slash root but i want to extract the file text dot 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 tor inside the term directory how we can achieve that for the tor hyphen capital c the location where you want to extract it is term and hyphen x v f test dot tor now the tor file inside the slash root directory will be extracted under term okay let us see let me list under the term the test directory was extracted and the content was there now i have extracted once i list inside the term the directory was there and the files the 10 files are there all right we have seen about the tor 
just a compression. Let us see how to compress an archive a file. So the archive, the compression was just 10 KB showing, 10 K uh, kilobyte is showing for the test.tar. If I am going to compress using the GZIP format, what will happen? My size will, again it will compress and it will archive. The test directory will be compressed and archive. The files including, okay. What are the files inside the test will be compressed and it will be archive. Let us see the command. tar hyphen z that is gzip cvf create and verbose and the file test dot tar dot gz test. We can see the test dot tar you want to compress as well as, as well it want to archive so that gz was mentioned it and the which directory want to be created with the gzip form so it's test and i have done let me see the size and everything before the test dot tar was like around 10 kilobyte but now it's very less very less very very less the test dot tar dot gz was very less in size you can see the compression and the test uh, the tar dot gz format is the only format which will compress uh, very very good compression method and you can make it 100 mb file to even 25 mb or 50 mb like that some files it depends on the file com uh, files and file types okay now if you want to extract the gz format let me remove the test directory now the test directory was not there tar dot x x vf the same command for extraction it's the same command okay but here we are going to extract a gz format for that we want to mention always gzip format you want to pass through the gzip to unzip the files okay test.tar.gz so that the files will be extracted and the files are there okay thus we can extract the file At the same time if i want to extract inside the uh, term directory the same command before we have used uh, you want to mention only the hyphen c whenever you are using the hyphen c hyphen capital c and the location where it you want to extract so that the location it will be uh, extracted under the term or what other location you have mentioned all right it's very easier and uh, it's not very hard to remember the commands and the options yeah and one more thing let me show uh, how to test or how to display the permissions uh, of the compressed file all right for that we can use tor hyphen tvf test dot tor this will show the permission which user and group owned and what the permission of the file and which did date it create and what the time and everything it's verbose output with the file and the directory everything okay thus we can get the information about the files all right so we have seen now how to create the file and uh, how to how to create the extract uh, tar file and how to create the tar tar gz file and extracting it let us see how to uh, create a xz xz okay there's a file format called xz uh, let me try tor hyphen capital j c p f okay test dot tor dot xz okay then which directory want to be compressed if you see the output we can see the test dot tor dot xz we can use the command for extracting we can use the command the same command as before 
just x v of this dot 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 x z is fine to extract this file extension. Okay, there is the nothing needed extra to extract this file. Just x v f is enough to extract the file. If it's a b zip two format, we need to use instead of capital J, we can use uh, for compression, we can use J uh, small J, and for extraction, we can use the uh, uh, sorry to create the file uh, C and with uh, small J, or if you want to use uh, if you want to compress a file for a B zip two format to extract, we can use the same. Uh, x and uh, small j okay it's very easy to use these commands now let us see how to use the uh, zip format okay if i if i have a zip file how can i extract and how can i create a zip file to create a zip file zip hyphen or uh, test dot zip test this will store all the files and they, it will compress zip the file uh, file and directory into a single zip file let me remove the test directory and let me try to unzip it for unzip just the command is unzip test.zip so that it will extract all the direct directories and files you can see all the contents are there Thus, we can use the similar compression and archiving tools in Linux. Moreover, we have uh, compress, a command called compress, uncompress, and many options are there. So, this is the basic uh, tools which we can use in uh, Linux, in CentOS, or in, in Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or in Debian, or Ubuntu. Everywhere, these commands are available, and just you want to. Uh, use these commands in a common way. Uh, there is nothing much different by uh, in distro to distro. The CentOS have a different commands, or in Red Hat Linux have a, di a different command, or in Oracle Linux have different, or Ubuntu or Debian. No, all the Linux are having the same command on options. We can use this all uh, this in all the flavors of Linux. Mostly all the flavors of Linux. Okay. In next chapter, we can see or we can see how to manipulate the files and directories. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right genie logo. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching.